down, but not yet out. Silvio Berlusconi has survived claims of corruption, sex scandals and accusations of fraud. But with his country's economy on the edge of chaos, could his time finally be up? As rumours built that he was about to resign, he took to Facebook to deny he was off. Rumours of my resignation are groundless, he wrote, but many now believe his leadership's beyond a joke. Perché noi abbiamo la forza di difendere la dignità di questo paese. We do not have to allow anybody to laugh at Italy, an opposition politician said. We should have the strength to defend the dignity of our country. A transport strike left much of Rome at a standstill, bewildering tourists. Are you serious? serious? No wonder. You know what? When in Rome? <laughs> <laughs> we have to get to the Vatican. Excuse us. But Italy's economy has only crawled along for many years. The problem now is the steep rise in how much it costs the government to borrow. Like many countries, Italy relies on money from the markets to keep cash flowing. But because of doubts over whether it'll be able to pay its huge debts, what the country has to pay for credit has had an almost vertical rise. Investors don't want to lend to the Italian government because they don't think they'll get their money back. It's above 6.5% interest rate now, rising close to that 7% threshold, which has been the point of no return where countries like Portugal and Ireland have needed bailouts in the past. And Italy is a much, much bigger country, so it's, it's worrying. In Greece, too, those costs went over the top. They had to be bailed out and the crisis has sent people onto the streets. There is a new government being put together, but the next leader has still yet to be unveiled. Italy's economy is very different, but pressure on its leader is building all the same. Silvio Berlusconi once said he was the right man in the right job. More and more of his countrymen now think he was wrong. Laura Kunzberg, ITV News.